Now, last night's presidential debate already fueling new campaign ads, and tonight we're putting one of those ads through our truth tracker. New tonight, 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is checking claims that Governor Romney has a $5 trillion tax cut plan. And on the surface, that sounds pretty good, but the implication is that Romney's plan would add $5 trillion to the deficit. It's a claim that the president brought up four times during the debate last night and four times Romney brought it down. And now it's the first campaign ad, or pardon me, debate clip to be used in a political ad. I'm not in favor of a $5 trillion tax cut. That's not my plan. The nonpartisan tax policy center concluded that Mitt Romney's tax plan would cost $4.8 trillion over 10 years. This ad claims Mitt Romney is proposing a nearly $5 trillion tax cut, which would add to the deficit. This claim is misleading. Here's why. According to Romney's campaign website, he plans to cut taxes for everyone, a 20% across the board rate reduction. He also plans to eliminate two different taxes. So how does this translate into real money? The Tax Policy Center is a nonpartisan organization that did a study on what we know so far about Romney's plan. It found that by the year 2015, revenues would be reduced by $456 billion. When you multiply that by 10 years, you get $4.5 trillion less money for the government. But what we haven't addressed so far is what Romney will cut to make up for that missing money. He'd have to raise taxes on the middle class or increase the deficit to pay for it. This is misleading because, frankly, no one knows. Romney has said that he will eliminate certain tax deductions and exemptions to make up for that $4.5 trillion deficit difference. This is his tax policy plan from his website, and I'll tell you, I've gone through it. It does not give any specifics, and neither did Romney last night, as to which exemptions and deductions he's talking about. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7.